Creating digital characters can be a whole lot of work. Now creating digital characters that are photorealistic at the same time trying to match the reference anatomy and also creating a full body character is a whole different thing altogether. In today's video we're going to take a look at how you can work with a very simple tool and a plugin that can get you all of these things and eliminate the time you spend in sculpting, trying to make retopology, blend shapes and even rigging. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we're going to create a couple of models by simply making use of the headshot plugin that now exists for Character Creator. So just in case you don't know what Character Creator is, Character Creator is a tool that has been made available by the guys at Relusion, creators of iClone, creators of you know crazy talk and so on and so forth so they do have a long list of things that they've made and character creator is one of the tools which they've also gone ahead to make now a cool thing with the character creator is they've also gone ahead to create a headshot plugin which is an ai powered character creator tool that simply converts your 2d image to 3d now one of the things to note is if you want to get the character creator tool and also the headshot plugin you can go over to the Relution page and you can get the free version of this tool which you can simply use for about 30 days so directly in here you would see that we have the character creator tool open and you can also see that we have here called plugins you can also by default get to see that we already have this headshot tool here but if i simply click on the plugin you also notice that we have the headshot tool at this point if we come over here and click on headshot you would notice that we now have a window that kind of encompasses the headshot plugin so i'm just going to simply close this which has to do with the content we'll get back to that later and you will notice that we have two options now the first one is automatic while the second one is pro so for the automatic what happens is you just feed it an image and it is definitely going to go through create you know automatic hair for you it's going to create automatic image blending which has to do with the skin texture and it's going to give you a 1k map which you can simply use for anything that you want now the very interesting thing about this is all you need to do is you can just simply go online and if you go over to 3d.sk which is you know the site which you're using to get these images right now you can get any reference image that you want you can of course use your own personal image now if you want to get the image you, you have to work with there are certain things that you need to consider first of all you need to consider the lighting of the image the position of the head and as well you need to consider that most of the features of this particular character is available so unlike every other tool that we've talked about this would not just create the head for you but then it's going to go ahead and try as much as possible to match the body match the texture of the body and at the same time match the features to sort of represent what the image would look like when this is a full character so i'm just going to go through and just bring in the front facing image and just drop it directly here and once i do that i would need to specify within the body type that i want to work with a male character now by seeing Simply clicking there I'm trying to generate the male character and I want this character to have both beard and scalp so by simply selecting this and clicking on the generate tool now what will happen is the AI system that is embedded in the headshot plugin will go through and analyze this image analyze all of the facial features and try as much as possible to give us accurate matchings to both the lighting the texturing and also how bombs and other things needs to be placed and on top of all of these things that is generating it's also going to generate 1000 plus sculpting morph which you can simply use so with this here if i simply just come over here hold down alt and use the right mouse button i can rotate directly here if i hold down alt and use the left mouse button i'll be able to pan so i'm just going to zoom right here and you can automatically see that without doing anything just with a simple click of a button we already have an image that simply looks extremely extremely close to the reference that we have now every other thing that you need to do has to do with a bit of housekeeping and we're just going to go through and talk about this so directly down here you would also notice that we have something called the shape adjustment so by just simply clicking here you will activate the shape adjustment like right now you can see that we have the cheek going in so we can just simply click here and push this in and you can start seeing that that the cheek is going in there and you can also see that this is also going inwards and we are also going to make just those little adjustments directly in there so the reason why you need you know all of these three phases is so that you can take a look at this image in different points of views like right now the neck is a bit protruded and at the same time you would also notice that the chain is lifted up a little bit more we are also going to be able to increase the ear if we want to do that and we can also increase the length of the nose so you can now see that all of these things that will take you so much time to make and all of those 
things, anatomy things that would actually, you know, that you have to spend a ridiculous amount of time to create. You can see that by just simply clicking and moving things here and there, you're going to get all these things done without even spending so much time. At the same time, if you want to make adjustments to very minor details, let's say for the eye, for the nose, you don't like how the nose is, you want to clap it in a little bit more. So I'm just going to click here and just, you know, pinch this in and also pinch this in. You can do all of these things here. All right. So you can use all of this to make a couple of changes. And once this is done, you can now exit from the sculpting morph. Now, if you exit from the sculpting morph, you can also make similar changes within the section so if you're not happy with the skin type you can make changes to the skin type if you're not happy with how you know the beard looks like you can also make changes to that if you also want to change this to maybe a character that is old you can also change this to an old character and you can see how our character would look like when our character is old and these are very very interesting stuff that would lift the burden of you trying to create a digital human now with the auto section out of the way let's take a look at what the pro version offers so i'm just going to share with you guys the image which you're going to use for the pro mode so you can see here we have this all right so we're using this same image and these images are made available from 3d sk so you can go over there to get a couple of references as well so we're still taking the exactly the same route but then you will definitely notice that there are certain slight changes so i'm just going to set it as it is and once i click on generate it's also going to do exactly the same thing and generate this 3d model for us and with this loaded up if i simply zoom right in you will notice that we have some sort of discrepancies between the face itself and also the head model contrary to what we have in the automatic mode that comes with texture blending this out of the bat does not come with texture blending so the beautiful thing with this is you have a feature called image matching okay so with the image matching you can see that automatically snaps to the front and you can now go in there and start matching this character to fit into what you want so right now what we're going to do is just simply move around and try as much as possible to match this character and while we're doing the matching of the character you can also use the opacity slider to slide things up and down and you can also choose grayscale so just in case you want to see this image in a grayscale and at the same time if you want to change the lens you can also choose to change the lens you can also choose to add some beards and some scalp or you can go with the presets that exist here so if i simply select the beard and scalp we can have something like that and once we're done with matching the image the way we want selecting the skin type that we want we can simply come all the way down here and click on update skin texture so once we're done with all of those changes that we want to do if we simply turn this off you can start seeing that we already have an image that is you know matching what we want now if you have certain parts of your image that you want to tweak if you simply select those parts so let's say for example want to tweak the mouth if you don't have all of the control features that you wish to have for the mouth here you can still access most of them here so if you come over to this section you'll be able to select a certain part and it's going to jump over to that section where you can make these changes for the changes of the mouth which you would like to make if you select the mouth you would need to come down to the headshot section and you can go over to the mouth section and you now notice that you have way more features and way more options so from here you can start tweaking the mouth so if we want the mouth corner to have a couple of turn you can do something like that all right so we can start making those turns to actually fall in place at the same time if you want to make changes to the eye so for example we have the eye like that if you want to make changes to the eye we can simply select the eye go over to the eye section bring this down and now you can see all of the general settings so in case you want to make those changes you can also see you know the opening the closing these are totally totally dependent on what you want at the same time if you want to break symmetry by working on one part you can also do that if you want to also break symmetry by working on another part you can also do all of that now for this point it kind of feels like you've created this and you're good to go all right but then if you want to add expression to this now this is one extra feature that comes with the character creator tool that you don't find anywhere now matching the character creator tool with the headshot plugin simply ties everything together now if i come over to the modify tools window which you can find by simply going over to window go down to tools and modify tools now if i come over here you would notice that i have the motion section now within the motion section if i click on edit facial i will be able so let's just simply you know lock and load this bad boy i would be able to select certain parts of my object so if i simply select these two parts and slide all the way up and down you can see i can control how the face or how the eye kind of moves now if i also want to control parts of the mouth so let's say for example i want to control the mouth let me just turn these ones off by holding down shift i can also you know control how this works so this is also some very interesting things that you would probably find a lot 
harder to do in any other app right think about how much time is going to cost for you to sculpt this but this tool comes with 1000 plus poses which you are simply going to work with now if you don't want to do any of these things you can jump over to the expression section where you can throw in different kinds of expression now at this point you can use the effectiveness slider to move things up and down depending on how much you want this morph target to actually apply to this and you have a whole lot others that you can work with directly from here now if you want to pose this character you can also come over to the edit pose all right so i'm just going to rotate and you can pose this model as much as you want now at this point you're working with full ik and if you want to do a full body part mirroring ik you can also do an ik setting that simply mirrors so once you do that and i'm simply going to select this you will now notice that we can create something like that something that is very very realistic and it also conforms to the real world human motion so at any point in time you can you know reset this you can set it back to default you can do whatever you want and if you're thinking about adding uh, motion capture data to this this is something that you can simply work with if you want to work with t-pose of course you have a t-pose here if you want to work with the ik you can simply select the body part reminds me so much of motion builder so you can do all of these things that you want directly from here now at the same time if you also want to go through and clothe this character you can you know bring this all the way down go over to the content section and you can simply clothe this character as you want and if you want to simply pose this character you can also come through and get some given poses. So for example, if you want to throw in an awaiting pose, you can throw one there. And also if you want to just simply throw in some other poses, like maybe motion poses as well, you can also you know work with all of these things directly directly here and so if you're looking forward to creating characters that are very realistic for your games animations and even pre-visualization then of course the character creator tool alongside with the headshot plugin is your best bet because it takes away all of the burdens that has to do with you being able to sculpt you being able to texture and also rig at the same time once you get the character creator tool you'll be able to actually clothe your characters and give them any kind of expression or poses that you want i can actually see a whole lot of people working with this tool and getting jobs done faster so if you want to work with this tool definitely go over to the relution website where you can actually purchase this tool and the cool thing with purchasing any of the relution software is the fact that any software you purchase from them is perpetual contrary to all of the subscriptions that we get to see here and there it's very very interesting to see that there's a company out there that actually believes in perpetual payment and once you pay for this tool you'll be able to own this and do so many amazing pieces with it at the same time if you want to get a trial version that you can use to practice before you make that purchase you can also get a 30 days trial directly on the website and that's about it guys i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course before we go it's worth mentioning that there is going to be a relution giveaway which is going to be coming very soon so for you to be eligible for this you need to be subscribed and of course you need to own any of this relution software so updates about this is definitely going to be coming over to the channel and i'll also do well to post it in the community just in case you guys get to miss it and that's about it guys i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video you learned something from it you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this Peace.